Okay, 1004 South Lions. So the current configuration is a two bedroom, one bath. Um, I think there's an opportunity to create a third bedroom out of this, but it is gonna require moving um, some walls. So it's a matter of what's structural, what's not, um, and if there's any real ROI in, in that. Uh, Cause it, it's, you're gonna have to move some walls around um, and maybe squeeze some things in. Front bedroom up here, you're looking at obviously resurfacing. Everything in the house is gonna be resurfaced. It's got upgraded windows, so that's a good thing. Um, a lower expense, likely. There are some definite cracks um, from settlement or something else you'll see throughout the house here. Um, it doesn't feel bad under my feet as I'm walking through. It is carpet, so it's a little harder to tell for sure. <clears throat> but it's something we want to um, take a look at. Again, upgraded windows in here. It's wood paneling in here. I'd tear that down. It should be easy. Maybe even open this up a little bit. Again, depending on what are uh, what you're thinking about for um, your ROI. If you're just wanting to pull straight into this one as a two bedroom or what. But these rooms here are quite large for living and dining space here. This is bedroom number two um, over here. So again, if we look a little bit, you can see some of the settlement cracks, etc. Settlement cracks over here. So we just want to see what's going on uh, with that. It could just be over time. This appears here that this is tilting down. Um, it doesn't appear level. Um, I'm holding. If you you know, you can just kind of see the angle here, right? Behind this wall. So here, let's go in here. This is so I can show you this. So big kitchen area here. This room over here is where the mechanicals are. This doesn't feel like um, it's properly insulated. There is insulation in here, okay? And this is the back door. But you can tell this was um, was was a porch or was the outside of the house at some point and everything, right? So that's something to keep in mind. Looks like that's where the panel uh, was uh, for the house. I don't know. Maybe not a panel, maybe a sub-panel or something because... There is electric, well, maybe there's, no, I don't know if there's electricity. There's beeps going off, so probably not electricity on in this. Yeah, so, um, but this is a lot of space in here. So if this is filled out nicely, again, this was exterior here, move some of this stuff around or just, or just wall it off and everything, um, you know, maybe you can expand your kitchen this way, make an additional bedroom, something along those lines. I'm going to have to get creative for sure. You'd have to gut a lot of stuff as well. So again, I don't know that there's the ROI in that, but there's definitely opportunity to make a third um, a third bedroom in here if you really want to. Back here is the bathroom. Very large bathroom. Again, another reason why I think there's just a lot of wasted space in here. Okay. Um, significant damage here. Uh, moisture, something just real definite damage overall in here. You can see the rust, the age, et cetera, in this one. Lots of settlement, lots of um, kind of goofy stuff going on um, in here that you want to have checked out. We've got breaches here, could be from an old water leak, cracks in the ceiling, those could be normal settlement, et cetera. So that's really what the inside look, I th I, like I said, I think good opportunity. Um, you could just go for a pure cosmetic on the inside, that'd be the cheapest and get yourself a two bedroom, one bath rolling really uh, relatively quickly on this too. So I just, I would run the numbers on the cost difference. It'd be a real simple calculation, get, um, get a contractor out here. Uh, the other thing that's really nice about this, and we'll do some walk, a little bit further walking, is the lot. So it appears that this is at least one, if not maybe two additional lots on here. So future construction, right? Um, totally feasible to do something like that because this, this house here is the corner and you've got the two interior lots. I think it's something that's completely viable to do. Even something small where your construction costs are under $100,000, I think is something totally viable to do with this for passive income or even as a flip, but I would, I would build them and do them for passive income. I know that's a lot of money to put into it, but that's probably what I would do because these lots are just not going to really give you this large lot isn't going to give you any return. I'm um, just sitting vacant. Roof looks fine. Um, shingles aren't that bad. I don't really see any 
um, structural issues. You can see some stuff from here on the foundations a little bit worn. So again, we're wanting to check to make sure that there aren't any, because those structural items that we're seeing could be old. <clears throat> the back deck here looks relatively new. I saw a well pump inside, so I'm gonna presume this is sewer, and uh, there is no sewer or um, city water on this one. I mean, even, so this right here is the, the bedroom here. That's a bigger expansion to pull this out a little bit in here, but man, it's something that could make it really easy to, like I said, to add that third bedroom on here. I just don't know the ROI is there. Um, from a rental perspective, I, I certainly don't think it's there on a uh, for a flip. A big lot here as well it goes back really, really deep. All of these go deep, so that's nice. But you could put at least one additional house over here. Already has trees in here to be nice. This, the roof is a complete teardown for sure. But this is cinder block um, exterior on this garage, so the garage is still going to be perfectly fine to use. You just got to fix the roof up on it. That ain't cheap, um, but it's it's not a, it's not an enormous expense either. So again, depending on the acquisition price, depending on what you're putting in to do some of the things, might change your strategy up a little bit. Plus, look at all these free bowling balls you're gonna get here. <laughs> all right, let us know what you think. Thanks.